Hi low folks, Manito here, I hope you're doing good. In this video, I'll be showing you how to play your PC library of games on your Nintendo Switch. As you can see, I have Steam open in the background and here on the Nintendo Switch, and I'm controlling it. You can stream your PC library of games to your Nintendo Switch. This is made possible by this game streaming software, Moonlight. Moonlight allows you to play your PC games on almost any device. Mobile devices, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, PS Vita, and even the Wii U, in your home or remotely. This is a neat way to game portably if you already have a modded Switch, a decent computer, and decent internet. Now, let's go over a few disclaimers and prerequisites before jumping in. The first thing you need is a computer that meets the minimum requirements listed here. Games are running on your computer and not on the Switch itself. Your computer is doing the heavy lifting. Also, this guide is intended for users that already have their Switch modded and have a basic understanding of adding homebrew and mods to their Switch. If you don't have a modded Switch, check out my noob friendly guide in the description. It goes over the basics of setting up Atmosphere custom firmware and homebrew on your Switch. Next, you'll need a stable internet connection. This is almost entirely Wi-Fi dependent, and if your connection isn't great, then you won't get good results. Games are being streamed to your Switch, so you need decent internet for this to function. Got it? Good, good, just making sure. You also need your Switch and computer both on the same internet connection as well. There are ways to do this remotely, but I won't be covering that in this video. The last thing to take note of is that in this tutorial and in all of my other tutorials unless stated otherwise, I'll be using a Windows PC for the computer sections. You can still follow along if you're using another OS, but some steps may be a little different. And that's all you'll need to know before starting the tutorial. But before we get started, make sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay notified of future videos, streams, and to support the channel. I noticed most of you that watch these videos are sadly not subscribed, so please subscribe and help build up the channel even more. Thank you for your support. And hey, I just want to throw out there that I want to thank you guys for your support and helping me reach over 20,000 subscribers. That is crazy. Thank you for your support, and I want to plug my 20,000 subscriber video, link in the info card and the description. I go over a brief history of myself, the channel, my gaming history. And yeah, I hope you enjoy that. And I also advertise in there that I want to do a AMA Ask Me Anything style video in the future. So if you check out that video, drop a comment there and ask me anything you'd like. And I'll answer it in that future video as long as it's appropriate and isn't just help with mod stuff. But if it's something you'd like to see me cover in a future video or a personal question, I'll answer it. I also have a growing community Discord server where you can join to talk with me and other members of the community. With that out of the way, let's begin. Connect your Switch SD card to your PC using your preferred method. I'll be using FTP, wireless file transferring. More info on that in the description. Go to the first tutorial link in the description. It will take you to GitHub for Sunshine. Sunshine is, as the GitHub says, a self-hosted game stream host for Moonlight, offering low latency cloud gaming server capabilities with support for AMD, Intel, and NVIDIA GPUs for hardware encoding. Shout out to Lizardbyte for creating this. Scroll down and click Getting Started. Installing Sunshine will be a bit different depending on the OS you're using. I'm using Windows, so I'll scroll down to the Windows section. Make sure to follow the instructions on the guide for whatever OS you're using. Now click here, download and install Sunshine Windows Installer EXE. And open it. Allow it to run. Go through the installation process. Once it's finished installing, you'll then be taken to the Sunshine documentation page. I recommend bookmarking this as there's a lot of useful info here that you can refer to when modifying your own settings. Click on Getting Started. On the right hand side, scroll down and go to Tutorials and Guides. Click here for Video Guides. 
I recommend saving this playlist and referring to it if you need any more help with the setup of Sunshine. These guides by Mike the Tech go in depth on configuring settings. Now, open up Sunshine. If you get this warning about your connection not being private, that's okay. Proceed. Upon opening Sunshine, you'll be greeted with the Welcome to Sunshine page. Here you'll set a username and a password. Make sure to remember it. Write it down or type it in your notes. Click on Configuration. Sunshine has a lot of settings that you can modify to fine-tune this so it can work as best as it can for you. As I mentioned, Mike the Tech has a playlist that goes more in depth on configuring Sunshine settings, so please check that out if you're confused by anything here. And now that Sunshine is all set up, it's time to download Moonlight for the Switch. Click the next tutorial link in the description. It'll take you to the Moonlight Switch GitHub. Shout out to Zitrix, I believe is how you pronounce this, and everyone else involved. Scroll down, and I recommend reading through the notes here, as there is important info. Click Releases, and to download the latest release of Moonlight Switch NRO. Now move it to the Switch folder on the root of your SD card. Now let's move to the Switch. Make sure you're connected to the same network as your PC. Now open up the homebrew menu via Title Takeover, which is when you open a game while holding the R button. Navigate to Moonlight, and star it if you'd like it to move to the front. Moonlight is now open, and if you're on the same network as your PC, then you should see it listed here. Select it, and enter the pin on your computer. You can name the device whatever you want. I'll be naming it Switch. You can manually add your computer too. Go to Add Host, and under Host IP, you'll need to enter your PC's IP address. For Windows, this is how you can find your IP. Open up Command Prompt, and enter IP config, and enter. What you're looking for here is your computer's IPv4 address. You would then enter the IPv4 address here under Host IP, and connect. I already have my computer paired, so no reason to do this. Now navigate to settings and you'll find different settings <laughs> with the different options such as streaming resolution, frames per second, and more. If your internet and or computer is struggling with the current settings, you can play around with them to see what works best for you. Now go to your computer, wait just a moment and connect. By default, you'll see Desktop and Steam Big Picture. Open up Steam if you have it installed. If you don't, open Desktop. There we go. Nice. Seems to be running smooth for the most part. If you encounter any issues, you can adjust settings on the Moonlight menu. All right, press and hold plus and minus at the same time, and you'll bring up the options menu. There are a few options <laughs> that you can mess around with. Mouse input mode lets you control the mouse with the joystick, and you can even press X to open up the keyboard. There is a tap to open keyboard option, but I haven't gotten it to work. The GitHub says that this only works on iOS and Android at the time of recording, so it isn't supported by the Switch. Not at the moment, at least. Touchscreen mode is pretty neat. You can use the touchscreen of your Switch to control your computer. The guide button will pull up Steam if you have that installed and open. You can set this to a system button, like the home button or the capture button. or a combo button. Very cool. This is what it does while you're in big picture mode. And there's a few other options such as volume, rumble force, and more. 
No. Log out and disconnect. If you have Steam or any other app open, you could terminate the app. As you can see here, it didn't completely close the app, so we'll manually do that. Now, I'll show you how to add your own games to the list here. However, this part is specifically for Windows machines. I believe it's possible to add your own games on another OS, but I don't have another OS to test this out on. Go to the Sunshine website. Again, to do this, you can either search up Sunshine on the taskbar or open up the shortcut. Click on Applications and Add New. Under the application name, enter the name of your game. I'll use Minecraft as an example. Now, navigate to your game. Right here, right click and copy as path. Now head back to Sunshine, scroll down and select Add Detached Command. Enter cmd.exe space forward slash c space and paste the command. There we go. Scroll down and select Find Cover. You can select an image here to be the cover for the game. This works. If you navigate to the covers directory here, you can also make and set your own cover for your games. See, here's Minecraft. Once you're done, select save. If you still have this menu open on the switch, press back and connect again. There we are, Minecraft, nice. Now you can select the game you'd like to play and start gaming. Oops. I have multiple displays connected, as you can see. So Minecraft opened up over here. That's all right. I can just move Minecraft over here. There we go. Woo. Yeah, this is a custom little Manito in the Link to Nick skin I made. And yeah, so now we have Minecraft Bedrock on the Switch with the performance of Minecraft Bedrock on PC. Very cool, very awesome. I mean, it, it's just running off your computer. But it's still nice, still really cool. Hop into the hive. Here we go. Not bad, not bad. Obviously not as smooth as playing it directly on the computer up here. But it works! If you're wondering why things look a little more fluid regarding the animation, because I'm using the actions and stuff resource pack, which is really cool, it adds more animations to the game. Also, since I have touch screen mode enabled, it actually feels better playing with touch screen on here than on a phone, because the screen is bigger. So cool, cool, cool. Another great use of touch screen mode, Plants vs Zombies, is playable. It's also displaying in the correct 4x3 format. You can see it's a little stretched out here on my monitor. But here, it's nice. And it does support the touch screen, which is very cool. Man, this is such a great game. <laughs> Anyways, this is not a Plants vs Zombies video, so close it out. And you can see Steam actually moved over to my other display. So this is a bit finicky if you have multiple displays, but if you only have one, that is nice. But yeah, now you have your entire PC game library here on your Switch. Yeah, Disney Infinity, Multiverses, the best Sonic ga No, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I think this is really neat. In my experience, this is a great way to play PC games when there's no lag, of course. You can even dock the Switch as you normally would to play your PC games on a different screen. This even has USB mouse and keyboard support. I only have a wired USB keyboard and mouse to test this with, so I'm not sure if a wireless USB keyboard and mouse will work. You can also connect multiple controllers to play multiplayer supported games. This is really cool, and as you can see, I'm playing Rivals of Ether as an example.
Here's something really neat too. If you have an Xbox, you can connect it to your PC through the Xbox PC app. This works by streaming your Xbox to the laptop. And now you can stream the Xbox from your laptop to your Switch. Here we have Sonic Unleashed on the Nintendo Switch. This definitely isn't perfect, and it's not as good as streaming only from your PC. But it's still playable if you have decent internet. The home button even functions as the Xbox button. And that is all for the video. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe for more content. Shout out to my channel members, thank you so much for your support, and thank you, yes you, for watching until the end. On the left you'll see a playlist for my Switch mod tutorials, definitely check that out. And on the right, a video that YouTube recommends for you. Yeah, you should check that one out too. Have a good day, good night, whatever time you're watching this, and God bless. See ya! Fox Christie.